Chess friends, how are you? Today I played with Alpha Zero with black pieces and I was shocked by his game style. Actually when I play with the black piece I have very little chance of winning because white plays the first move so he has the chance to attack black first. Life isn't about finding yourself. Life is about creating yourself, so let's go. Alpha started the game with e4, we have c6 Karo can defense, knight e2, that's a very shocking move, maybe he wants to play knight g3 with the idea of playing f4, or f3 then bring out your bishops, develop your pieces to castle in queenside or kingside according to the game, or leave the king in the home square to push your king army to attack black on the kingside, you know there are many plans alpha can consider, ok I played d5. e5 c5 to gain more center space, d4 knight c6 c3 and we have pawn exchanges in center, here you can push the e pawn or play bishop f5, but my book opening played bishop g4, we have knight c3 and you shouldn't take the knight because you will lose control over the light squares with your bishop, it is called chess strategy and we have some natural moves and then f3, wow, and we have amazing g4 move, he is proving himself that he is a real stockfish subscriber, alpha zero developed his king side totally. Two moves later, I can play knight g6 to eliminate the knight in my next but I played rook c8, that's a super aggressive chess game because I have some restricted positions so I want to play a6 and knight c6, we have king h1 knight c4 b3 knight to b6 and alpha moved up his rook pawn to give me a threat, so knight c6 to open up the bishop line to use it, alpha played knight h4 bishop g6 and f4, he is threatening to push the f pawn, let me show you the variation. If you play any normal move for example a6 then f5 will come, takes bishop p3 to targeting to this diagonal, bishop can't take the knight because of bishop takes pawn and you will lose the rook, so after takes we will push the e pawn to sacrifice it, the pawn can't take it because of this, so after queen takes pawn, many 69 IQ people can think of playing rook e1 but that is not good, because you will lose your knight and the rook, the best move is to play knight f4. Queen run away and we will do pieces exchanges, a5 knight backs bishop takes check, the king position will be totally terrible and we will sacrifice the bishop on f5, if black dares to take it then we will give him a check with a queen threat, so in this position, black have to slide the queen then queen takes pawn will come, white will get open diagonal for the crisscross apple so's bishops, open files for the rook and the position will be dead lost for black. When we strive to become better than we are, everything around us becomes better too, so I want to turn the game into next level which is why I played bishop a3 to target the rook, rook a1 bishop b4 knight takes check king f8 and here alpha sacrificed his knight by capturing the pawn, pawn takes e6 f5. You still cannot take the pawn, let me show you the variation, takes takes bishop h7, knight b5 so a6, bishop b5 will be played to sacrifice the knight, if back accepted then we will push the pawn, two connected pass pawns are dangerous as a fairy tale dragon, queen here queen h5 to target this pawn so bishop g8 to protect it, but that will not help anything because I have the great bishop to bring thunderbolt tornado on your position. Queen here f6, the fairy tale dragon fires everything so queen run away to c7, d7 check and after some moves later we will play bishop f6 check and that will be mate, look at this, the king will be in middle of the enemies and he will be trapped, so back to the position, we have bishop h7, knight b5a6 to target the knight but alpha ignored it and played bishop e1, sacrificing the knight, if you take it then f takes e6 discover check will lose your queen. So in this position we have queen e7 to support it, pawn takes discover check, king slides away and we have bishop exchanges, knight d6 to target this and you simply cannot move the rook away, let me show you why, bishop e3, we will do bishop exchanges, queen takes pawn may be played in the game then it will be a simple checkmate with a queen only, black could do nothing though and chess friends. If you want to get smart like us then you can subscribe to my youtube channel where you will get informative videos daily, so back to the position, we have queen takes d4 to target it, alpha played simply a5 because I can't do queen exchanges, my pieces will be under attack and white have pass pawns and open rook file, so we have queen takes pawn to target it, you shouldn't take the knight because after knight takes knight, position will be in black favor. White has to do something to create another problems otherwise the game will be in my hand. Follow your heart, 
listen to your inner voice, stop caring about what others think, so we have knight f5 and the knight is under attack so I placed the knight in a safe square, bishop p3 to get this diagonal and you shouldn't take the knight because a pawn takes pawn, two connected pass pawns will be too dangerous for you, rook g1 is also available for white so we have bishop g6, queen f3 queen takes rook to e1, if you move the queen which you would play if you have black pieces. Let me show you the variation, if queen d7 then g5 will come, takes queen g4 to play knight e7 check with the discover attack to the queen, so rook d8 to protect it, queen takes pawn queen to h7, knight h4 to target the bishop with three pieces and the bishop is pinned, no matter what black will play he will lose the game, queen h6 queen here rook h7 queen e6 check king slides takes, rook g7 queen f6 to pin the rook, rook here rook g1, this is protected by the queen and black position is burning. Knight c7 knight f5 to fork your pieces, queen h3 rook h3, and now you will lose your queen and. It will be checkmate in few moves, so back to the position, we have knight e5, So wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.